In a major shift for Australia's immigration landscape, the government is preparing to roll out the new skills and demand visa by the end of the year, replacing the existing 482 visa. This new approach aims to address Australia's workforce needs and streamline the process for skilled workers, providing more pathways and flexibility for both employers and applicants. With significant changes anticipated, it's time for sponsors and visa applicants to act swiftly and prepare for what's coming. Early preparation is key to avoid the effects of this transition, as it's strongly advised that applications be submitted well in advance, ideally before mid-November. This is especially critical since applications lodged before the new visa's launch are expected to be processed under the current 482 visa criteria which means fewer unknowns and potentially fewer hurdles for applicants and sponsors. Key updates in the new skills and demand visa. Here's what we know so far about the upcoming changes that are set to reshape Australia's skilled migration system. One, new visa structure. The new skills and demand visa will feature a new three-tier system, varying by occupation and salary, which offers a four-year pathway for skilled foreign workers. This redesigned approach is tailored to meet Australia's specific workforce demands, and if you're curious about the details, be sure to check out our previous videos about this new visa. 2. Reduced Work Experience Requirement As of November 23, 2024, applicants will only need one year of full-time work experience in their field, down from the previous two-year requirement. This update, introduced in the federal budget, aims to make the process easier for applicants with relevant but limited experience. 3. Flexibility for casual employment Casual labour is now eligible to credit toward the work experience criteria for the first time. Although full-time employment is still desired, individuals with a variety of job experiences may now more easily complete the work experience requirements thanks to this additional flexibility. 4. Longer time for employment gaps The new visa system will allow visa holders to find a new sponsor, apply for a different visa, or plan to leave Australia for up to 180 days at a time, and a maximum of 365 cumulative days within the visa year. This change gives workers greater stability during times of transition and allows them to work in other occupations, providing more financial security. 5. Elimination of the five-year work limit Previously, work experience needed to be recent, but this restriction will be removed. Applicants can now count relevant work experience from any point in their career, making it easier to qualify based on broader professional experience. What to expect as the new visa rolls out? While the final details are still pending, we anticipate the following. 1. Existing applications are likely protected. Applications submitted before the Skills and Demand visa goes live will likely continue under the current criteria. This will prevent any immediate disruptions and give applicants and sponsors peace of mind. 2. Standard Business Sponsorship SBS, Approvals to continue Businesses will still be able to use their current SBS approvals to nominate workers under the new visa program, maintaining continuity for employers accustomed to the 482 system. 3. Core Skills Pathway Similar to current 482 visa, the new Core Skills Pathway is expected to follow a similar set of nomination and application criteria to those currently in place under the 482 visa, helping to simplify the transition. What applicants and sponsors should do now With changes just around the corner, here's what sponsors and applicants need to focus on to make a smooth transition. Submit your applications before mid-November, as the priority right now is to get your nomination and visa applications in as soon as possible. Those submitted before the new visa's implementation are expected to be evaluated based on current criteria, reducing the impact of these changes. If you're in a high-risk occupation like cafe or restaurant management and are planning to transfer to a new sponsor, now is the time to renew your visa. This will allow you to accumulate two years of experience under your current sponsor and meet the requirements for the 186 Temporary Residence Transition Stream before your occupation is potentially removed from the skilled list. 
As Australia moves to modernize and enhance its skilled migration process, the Skills in Demand visa represents an opportunity for skilled workers and employers alike to benefit from increased flexibility and clearer pathways. If you're a sponsor or skilled worker planning to apply, now is the time to prepare. Taking action now can help you navigate this transition with confidence and avoid being caught in the rush when the changes take effect. That will be all in this video. Please share your opinions with us in the comments area. Don't forget to like, subscribe and enable the notification bell to receive updates on Australia immigration news. Thanks for watching.